Tauruses, welcome to your love reading for March 2020. My video gave out during the pre-shuffle, so there's just a few things I'd like to mention. One, I will be leaving a link below. Two links below. One for what your love interest is thinking or feeling, whether it's a crush, a current, an ex, or soon-to-be ex. The other one is for how can I move on from someone I'm having a hard time moving on from. My 2020 Sun Moon readings predictions are up in my playlist. Check those out. My 2019s are still up there. Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook and Insta. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate in the link below. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. In this position, this is the position of energies, love energies prior to March 2020. We have the High Priest in reverse. Okay. Um which is similar to the Hierophant and the traditional Rider weight. And what I'm kind of getting from that is some of you could have gone through a divorce. Some of you were in a relationship and one person, either you or the other person, decided it wasn't working out, um, that in order for it to work out, things needed to be redesigned, things needed to be redone. Um, but the way it was going right now, it wasn't going to be happening, okay? Um, somebody did not want to be in a traditional relationship, did not want to be married, did not want to be confined by rules and respect needed in order to have a one-on-one -on -one relationship. Um, so those are your energies prior to, and again, it could be you or it could be the other person. I'm feeling like it's the other person, and also this is the card of Taurus, if that resonates. Um, damn, my towel just fell down that my foot was resting on. Um, so in March, we have the Four of Pentacles in the upright, and this is, this is you, um, wanting to hold on to this, okay? I feel like, I feel like you're giving it your best college try to kind of hold on to whoever this person is. You feel very secure when you're with them. You feel very solid. Um, they're a part of you. <laughs> um, you might even be being a little bit possessive. You don't want to let them go. Um, even though they do want to go, you might be telling them they can't go. Um, but you are holding on to them and you're holding on to this. If it's not this person, you're holding on to this relation, the, the concept of this relationship or having a relationship with them. And I don't think they're on board for it. And as you continue with this idea that, that, you know, how you want this or what have you, um, arguments come about. So as March goes into April with the five of swords in the upright and you guys kind of go back and forth on this, they're talking about, you know, they, they want their independence. They want to be free. And you're kind of saying, no, this is how I want it. I want you to be at home. I want to be in a solid relationship. Both of you kind of think you're right. So both of you are like having a, a argument to the death, um, there's a lot of pride there's a lot of arrogance involved in this and there's one person who wants to win and kind of defeat the other person so whenever we have arguments like that they usually don't end well down here it says conflict so yeah just saying okay why is the high priestess here in, or the high priest in reversed here for leos who is this person with this energy additional messages for the high priest in reverse for leos love energies prior to march I'm just trying to make them an offer of how things can be done differently, I feel like. Um, I actually feel like, and I do feel like it's you. I feel like you're saying, you know what, let's try this again. Let's try this a new way. You know, I've read, I read this, um, I, I read this article on how we can kind of make this work. Um, I got this news of how, you know, Dick and Jane work through their stuff. So, I mean, you're all about kind of making it happen again. Um... Some of you might get pregnant or might try to get pregnant. Don't get mad. I'm just going to throw it out there. Um, but yeah, some of you might actually try to get pregnant um, or have a birth or might be pregnant in hopes of that when you have this child, you know, you guys can start anew. Um, but whatever you're kind of offering or whatever news is coming in or, you're, or, or you were um, propositioning, proposing, proposing to this person they're not having it. They have the, the page of pentacles in reverse. So they're just kind of interested. In, they want to do what they want to do. They're just here for the short term. They don't want any kind of commitment or any kind of long term or anything kind of tying them down, anything of that sort. They're very rebellious. They're used to being very free. Um, so whatever you're selling, they're not buying. And selling it, you are. Here's the Hierophant. Um, 
you know, and, and you were saying to them, but you need to do the right thing. We've been together for this amount of time. If you're pregnant, you're saying, I'm pregnant, I'm carrying your child. You know, you need to do the right thing. We need to be together. We need to get married. There needs to be some sort of commitment. I mean, um, and, and I just feel like they're not having that at all. They want to roam. They want to do what they want to do. Why is the Four of Pentacles here in the upright for Leos? If I said Taurus, I'm sorry. I feel like I said Taurus. Why is the Four of Pentacles here in the upright for Leos? Love energies from March 2020. Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages for the Four of Pentacles in the upright. And the Two of Swords. Yeah. You know, so you're trying to hold on and you're trying to decide what you're going to do, but you don't know what to do. So... You know, like I said, you're trying to hold on because you want to feel secure, but you're like, okay, well, I'm not going to do anything right now. I'm just going to sit here. I'm not going to do anything, any action. I'm not going to try to rock the boat. Um, because you're really uncertain how this is going to happen. But I do feel like you keep on being open to, uh, you know, mediating with this person, negotiating with this person, um, you know, seeing if there's some kind of balance you can strike with them. To get them to kind of hang around and they aren't responsive to it the king of swords they just feel like they're being pressured into something they don't want to do um they might blow up actually they might get really mad and kind of blow up um and 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 they just they just feel like they're being pressured into something that they don't want to do so um what i i'm feeling like you know with the ten of wands in reverse they just tell you no again they they just say no this isn't for me I can't handle these kind of responsibilities. Um, and again, if you're pregnant, they're basically saying, I can't, I don't want a kid. I don't, this isn't, I don't want one. I'm not ready for one. And, you know, no, thank you. You're going to have to figure something out. Um, and that's what I'm kind of getting. And they're, they're not going to, they're, you know, they're not going to play the victim. They don't want to be a martyr or anything. They just don't want to do this. Okay. And, and the more that you kind of like push or you try to mediate it, they, they just don't want to hear it. They're not entertaining any of it. But I think he continues on because the five of swords tells me the conflict continues the back and forth. Um, now it's escalated. The arguments have es escalated. Things are being said that shouldn't be said that are cutting, that are wounding. Um, why is this five of swords here in the upright in regards to how Leah's will be moving forward? And you're fighting for this because you want to be happy. You want to have the family, the white picket fence. I feel like you're saying to them, and it can flip flop, but I'm not going to lie. I feel like it's coming from you. So if it's coming from you, own it. If not, you don't need to rip me up in the comments. Um, but the Ten of Cups, you just have this ideal situation, the white picket fence, and, and you're saying to them, but look at how happy we can be. We could have all these cups. We could get married. We could have kids. We could be so happy. You know, look at all this land and the kids dancing around the yard. They don't care. They don't want to have anything to do with it. And as a matter of fact, they've just, they've detached from you. Um, again, they're blowing up again, and now they're really getting resentful because, again, they feel like you are putting demands on them. And they've already told you several times, I don't want to do this. I'm not going to do this. And you keep on trying to sell it to them. You're trying to sell them something that they don't want to buy. And like I said, own it if it's you, okay? Um, that someone will rip me up in the comments and then I don't want to care and then I'll delete them. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to lie because that's what I do. Um, so we have the nine. If it's an intellectual and it's constructive criticism, I will leave it up in the comments. If someone just comes on and decides they're having a bad day and decides to rip me and they're a keyboard warrior, you get, you're gone. Come on, Leos. You understand that, right? Of all people, you're positive. You don't have time for that crap. Um, so here's this nine of wands here where you're just, you're, if you, I'm getting, you're alone, Okay. Um, you've been through this huge battle. This is known as the wounded, wounded warrior, wounded soldier. He's got a bandage on his head. I mean, and you have gone to battle and back with this person and you're still standing. So I think at this point you've kind of accepted it, that you're going to have to do this alone, that they aren't going to participate. Um, and, and that you're resilient, you're determined and you're going to make it happen. You just can't really count on them. And I, I feel like a loneliness, it, like you finally accepted this. You've gone through every fight, every battle you're ever going to have with them. And I feel like, okay, we, you can have it your way. I'm going to have to figure out how to stand on my own and I'm going to have to work this out. Um, 
you might be a little moving forward. This might have an effect on you and you might not let people in because of what this person has done. Um, but you know what? You're going to find out how resilient you are and you're not going to give up. You're going to do this by yourself or you're going to move on by yourself. Okay. Despite all of it. And you probably will release them. Alrighty. So that's what I have for you. Um, if you would like a personal reading, like I said, send me an email. We can work that out. Otherwise, check out one of my two links below, which is what your love interest is thinking or feeling, whether it's a crush, a current, or an ex, or soon to be ex, and the other link for how can I move on um, from someone I'm having difficulty moving on from. Check out your 2020 sun moon predictions in my playlist. 2019s are still up there. Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook and Insta. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. In the link below. Otherwise, adios for Veronica Garnett. Bye.